Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide, and this time we are getting it all in out of line. An excellent platformer puzzler developed by Nerd Monkeys, published by Hatton <laughs> Interactive, and is available for £10.74, but does go on sale quite often. So we play as San, a type of square marshmallow head human hybrid type thing, that is on the escape from the factory he once called home, even though factories suck total crunchy nut cornflakes. A lot of obstacles do get in our way, including claw machines hell-bent on killing us, spider things hell-bent on killing us, and platforming sections hell-bent on killing us. It's not as bad as I just made it out to be, though. Uh, so, achievements-wise, they are very easy in all fairness. The majority are story-related. We need to collect 16 memory cubes, and the few that are missable are so easy, it's like peeing in the morning easy, where you surely can't miss. Unless you're pretty blind, or your bits are a bit messed up, or whatever, but uh, sorry. Anyway, it's just really easy, okay? So, overall, you're looking at around one to two hours to complete this. So, with that being said then, let us begin. So, we are just going to start, as usual, by pressing New Game, because that is how you start most games these days. Unless it's Elden Rings, and in which case you've probably got to, you know, stick your head in a 90 degree angle and press the select button three times, or whatever, since they've got no pause menu or anything. Uh, but that's what we're going to do anyway. So, start a new game. Uh, very simplistic controls, very simplistic um, the way the game is. And to be honest, the sort of hardest bit of the game is more or less the first sort of 20 minutes or so with the claw machines. Uh, the rest of it, it focuses more on um, just doing puzzles and smashing them boys out. So, we are pressing the A button to jump. There's only basically a couple of mechanics we're going to be using throughout the game. We're going to use our marshmallow head powers with the, uh, you know... Princess Leia haircut to um, do quite a bit of javelin in the ning. Yeah, we'll come to that in just a sec anyway. So we're going to keep skipping forward, skip it to the right of the minute, which is, of course, the, the majority. That's what we're going to do for the majority of these games go to the right. And it's just going to be little cutscenes, claws, and all types of crap's going to go down for the second. And immediately we unlock out one of our first achievements. Look at that, for just running to the right a little bit. Happy days. Well, I'm Marshmallow Head. So we're going to walk to the left, and these are what the... To the right, even. And they are what the memory cubes, just... Th that's what they are. There's no other way to explain it. They are literal cubes. So there's 16 of these that we need to collect, and that will be your first one there. He's going to shoot it out of his chest, pure Iron Man style. And then we can continue... Moving to the right. So, of course, we've got a little bit of um, a tutorial now. So, press A to jump. And then move the left stick to jump with the A button. I mean, it's the majority in most games. Um, obviously, obviously, with this being a platformer, you can easily slip down like I did right here the first time. So, just be, you know, just be a bit careful. Um, but otherwise, it's, uh, <laughs> you know, it's fun. It's great. You literally have no nose or mouth. How do you breathe? My God. So now we are getting our main weapon, or our main point of thing for the game. What you have to do is press the right bumper, and then aim with the right stick. Stick it into somewhere, make the biggest leap of your life, pure Assassin's Creed style, trying to break your neck on the hay on the way down. And then, once you're over to the other side, press the right bumper to somehow uh, use your marshmallow head abilities to um, get it back. So... That's about, like I said, that's the. this is what we'll be doing the majority of the game. So again, press the right bumper, uh, use the right stick to aim, stick it in the wall, and then when you're through to the other side, press the right bumper again to use your magic to get it out. <laughs> get it out. Uh, that's said. Uh, <laughs> we'll come back to that. Now, of course, sometimes it's going to work well. It does act like a little spring as well. So, you know, sometimes you'll see me being quite moronic with it. Other times, <laughs> I'll do something so cool that, uh, well, you wouldn't believe that it actually took one take. 
after about five takes. Right, so anytime we need to press something, press the X button there and the left stick to move that lovely. And then we can jump up. Very nice. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I don't know what more I can say. Go for the slide down of life. Somehow don't break your neck. And apparently, there's like loads of little marshmallow heads. So, somebody is doing something. Now, <laughs> as you can just see there. So, there is the claws that we have to worry about. Again, we only have to worry about these claws, like I said, for the first sort of 20, 25 minutes of the game. And then the rest, like I said, it gets more puzzly. Um, even though it gets kind of puzzly from the start, but it, it gets puzzly after without claws, so that always comes in handy. So yeah, for some reason, somebody seems to be breeding marshmallow heads, which, um, I mean, if they end up tasting like the Rice Krispies, uh, White Krispies? The Rice crispy Square marshmallows, then, you know, I'm all up for that. So stand on the switch, wait until it's up, and then throw your javelin at the top. You realistically should have waited until you get to the, uh, got to the other side, but, uh, you know, we made it anyway, so... Um, again, that's a lot of what we'll be doing using our, I'll just call it a javelin or a stick, just call it the magic stick. So push this boulder onto the left hand side switch and that gets us going beautifully. Then we can just, uh, you can piss it off mate as well. Piece of wiener claw. Oh, we're doing a moonwalk. Hee <laughs> hee. And now we're not anymore. So stand on the switch. Uh, what we're going to do then is throw this at the top gear cog right there. Stand on the switch. And then that should um, get us by with no problems. Then we can press the right bumper when we're at the other side. Oh, look at us. We are just super cool and hard cure. Right, use this uh, javelin to get yourself up. And again, do it to get yourself up. Right, this is where the puzzles begin. So stand on the, uh, the first switch. Wait until the uh, thing is up and then just go to the other side. Then we can push this boulder onto the switch. And then the thing will go up. I, I keep saying thing. I can't for some reason. I can't remember what they're called right now. So stick your javelin between the gear cogs. There probably better to do it to, more towards the right. As you can see, you ain't fitting in there, even though you can't crawl for some reason. So a little bit more to the right. Stand on the second switch, and then <laughs> that should be just enough. Uh, yeah, but you could probably do a lot better job than I could there. Thing. What, what's that called? Bloody door type thing. Man, my English is as <laughs> just as good as my Spanish today. Pretty non-existent. Right, so as you can see, our marshmallow-headed friends are being carried away and death-defied by the claws. So we're just going <laughs> to... Well, let's uh, keep making our escape, huh? Uh, ignore that one. That's all good. We can just keep running to the right for now. Lazy, <laughs> lazy butthole just about wakes up. All right, then. So now we're going to start doing some puzzles with other guys. Other guys... Uh, hello, I see you too. So use your javelin stick and use it to jump over to the other side. Uh, obviously the side of the switch. Stand on the switch. Again, press the right bumper to get your javelin back and then throw it in the right side gear cog. And that should then just about be enough to get that one done. Right bumper again to take it back and let's keep going. Yes, yeah, very... Uh... Right, press the um, X button. <laughs> Yeah, that's close enough. What you have to do, though, is press down, and that will get uh, put your stick into this lever. Then you can press the X button and the left stick to move it wherever the hell you want. So, of course, we are going to be moving it here. Get your stick back, and then throw it in the right-hand side gear cog again. And that should jam that one lovely. And then as soon as you get to the other side again, we'll take our stick back. I'll just call it a stick. A stick's just way easier. Magic stick. Right, um, what we're going to do, use the stick then, um, the old magic stick to get to the other side. And then what we're going to do is, again, press the down button to put it into this uh, lever, or makes it act as a lever. And then X button and left stick to drag it over again. And then we can push the boulder on, or whatever it's called. Again, <laughs> my English today, yeah. It's about as good as pure diarrhea at the minute. It's just not working. Not happening. So push the boulder onto the other side. Use your stick to get through the... Um, jump over to the other side. And then move on through. Right. So uh, <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. That should, I think, now we are going to die. Yeah. You don't actually have to die. I was just being a bit silly there and ran straight out. So just wait underneath here until it starts going to the right. And then just hide underneath this bit. Because there, there is going to be two of them. Uh, so you can stay there if you want. But if they're far enough apart, that should be fine. So keep pushing this boulder. Uh, we're going to wait until this one goes to the right. This claw. 
And then soon, always be careful there because he does jank it uh, left a bit. As soon as he starts going back left, push the boulder to the right-hand side. And you should just about there be good to go. Push it on the switch. Door raises. That's the one. It's a door. Right, now we're going to use our stick to stick it in the yellow um, button. And then on the left-hand side, just keep on going to the left because there's going to be the second memory cube right there. So make sure to grab that one. And then now what you were supposed to do is go to the right-hand side there. But I accidentally pressed the right bumper to get my uh, javelin stick back. So stick the javelin. Oh, man, what a throw. What a throw. Now I'm going to the next Olympics. Beep. So, yeah. So now we're going all the way down. Job done. Now we can grab our magic stick back. Boink. Lovely job. Right. Wave to your pal. Hello. You want to escape? Yeah, okay. I, I can't... I can't smell you or I can't speak to you for some reason. Uh, we got designed without mouths and that for whatever reason. Uh, javelin on the yellow button. And then just wait for your pal to go over there. He's going to get a rock down. Job done. Again, try to avoid the rocks, of course. The falling rocks. Always come in handy. Before going to the top right, stay down and go to the bottom right to get the third memory cube. So, again, very easily missed, but just make sure that you've done that. So, right now, you should be on three out of 16 memory cubes. If you've just forgotten it, um, like I said, the checkpoints are quite good. So, just kill yourself and then just go again if you manage to forget it. Uh, but again, a word on them for checkpoints. They are very um, lenient and very good in this game. So if you do die, you should be good. Right. Um, stick in the top cog. In the top gear cog. And then we can go through to the right. And then just wait for just two seconds. Because we need to use our stick and put it in the top gear cog again. Just as our friend at the bottom sorting us out there. So as soon as you start walking to the right, it should jam right there. And we are jamming. We are slamming. We are... We are whatever the hell accident I'm trying to do. Right. Our pal at the bottom's just sorted us out. So now this um, floating platform's sorting us out. Now let's jump on through to the other shade. Right. Jump on this switch. Uh, get, uh, in fact, put, put the stick in the gear cog first. St uh, jump on the switch. And then what you should... It should go somewhere roughly around the middle. But that should be enough to jump... And, yeah, so you should be okay with that one. Um, just kind of try and keep that stick in the middle there. Right, what we need to do now is, you see at the bottom, we need to wait until there is a gap that goes up into the gear cogs, like right there. And for the top one, go into the switch and then jump off it when there is a nice gap. That enables our pal to sort us out and we can go to the right. Okay, now make the jump for it. Now, what we have to do now... Oh, well, that's just unfortunate. Thanks for saving our life, pal. I appreciate it, but I don't owe you anything. I don't owe you any money. Stop asking me for my money, man. Right, stick your lever in, and then what we're going to do is push this uh, platform all the way to the left so our little tiny guy can get on. Come on in, marshmallow nugget head. You get on, buddy. Right, now, go to the right, and at the bottom, you can see, as you hit the gear cog, um, the... Two platforms start turning. So obviously what we're going to need to do is just wait for it until we can jump. Basically jump on the platform safely. And we can obviously go across. So that's all you have to do there. Uh, for some reason I'm being a bit of a donkey to be honest. Uh, <laughs> but all we got to do. Um, I've, yeah, I tell you what happened. I somehow missed the, the, I was somehow missed that there was a gear cog making these turn. So I was being a complete moronical. But um, as soon as that's done, you can press the right bumper to get it back, your stick back, and you should just be able to jump on. If you need to, use your stick. <laughs> just about, again, got lucky with that one. But yeah, so that's all you got to do there. Just get the platforms in such a good way that um, you can jump safely through to the other side. Hopefully a little better than me. All right, jump across. And then put your stick into the lever. It makes it act as a lever. And it's basically just a timing puzzle section, this one. So, as soon as the first one, the first spikes go down. And then, then you can press X and left sticks to go to the right. Wait until the second one goes down and immediately go. Then the third one. Then the fourth one. And you are as golden as ball sacks again. Yeah, so, jump it. Make it. Just about made it. 
and through to the other side again. Right, this one was a bit of a pain in the bum to snatch for me for some reason. So, there are three gear cogs, and each one gets um, starts turning the two of them. So, what you have to do then is, ju again, just like the other one, we just need to make it so it's more or less a safe path across. Um, I found with this one it was a bit more trial and error, so... So obviously, as you can see, then so with the very right one, it rotates the um, right two. The the middle one rotates the second and fourth one, and the very left hand cog rotates the first and third one. So this one's just a bit of trial and error. Um, but again, as as long as you've got it in, you don't have to get it perfect. Just as long as you know that you can think you can get across. Like now, this will do. Blamissimo, plenty mo. So right bumper to get your stick back and make a break for it, buddy. Yep, and there we go, oh, ho, ho, almost died, and again, like I said, if you die on a particular section, normally you just restart at that same section, so, well, you can't beat it, can you, and that's fantastic, get your stick back, there we go, right, now we're going to start doing some clory stuff, as we um, get knobbed down, my marshmallow headed friend, okay, what we're going to do, wait here for just a second, while the claw goes ahead and picks that one up, which is very nice. Well, gibby! And then when that's done, we're going to go to the right. There is a button that we're going to push. Oh, button! In fact, we're not going to push a button. We're going to wait till this box comes over, uh, drops down, push it over to roughly around anywhere in this area is all fine. But make sure you immediately jump in. Because the claw is going to come down and it's going to start lifting us up again. So. Doesn't matter exactly where it is, it's got his, you know, hardcore aiming technique. Oh, why the claw? What the claws want with marshmallow heads anyway? That's just, just it's a weird concept. But of course, there, is, there are, always is one weirdo mastermind, isn't there? That's like, oh, well, I wanted to make love to a, uh, to a doll, but uh, it wouldn't let me without it being weird. So I made a marshmallow head. Or something or other. So, something like that, anyway. It's a... <laughs> Roughly about the same. Right, as soon as you get past this pipe, you can press down on the D-pad. I don't know if it does it automatically. Don't worry about being crushed. You don't get crushed. But as we can see, on the left, we just picked up our fourth out of 16 memory cubes. So make sure to pick up that fourth memory cube on the left before heading to the right. And all we got to do is just... Now, again, it's just a bit of timings required for this bit. Again, you won't get crushed or anything. So just keep jumping backwards. Wait until... <laughs> You know, wait until the um, trap is at the top. I can't, you know, uh, you're probably a whole lot better than me at doing this. Uh, but wait until the, till the top, so perfect. And then we can move on through. Get it back as soon as, as soon as we're at the other side. And then just do the same thing again. So wait until it's sort of at the top. Again, I suck complete donkey nets right there at doing that. And again. Yeah, apparently my eyes were completely uh, backwards. Uh, play in this, but <laughs> we make it eventually. And we'll have to do it for the third and final time. So again, just wait until it's at the top. Oh, i done it good then. See? I, t I told you I'm good at gaming eventually. Right, there we go. Now we're good to go. We've jumped past that bit. Hello! Ah, everyone's so happy and friendly considering death is happening a lot. So, he's going to sort us out there. We are going to make sure to put one at the bottom as well. Your stick at the bottom. Otherwise, you will probably not make it. I couldn't be asked risking it, to be honest. Right, so, I die. <laughs> Again, just a little bit too eager right there. So, what we're going to do. When, just wait until they are both at each side. As soon as they're at each side, stick your stick in the lever. And just wait for a second until they both switch. Push it to the left. And then our guy can jump on. Now, wait until you're in the middle here. So I almost messed that one up, but you need to still have some shade on you. Put it to the right, and then you should be good to go. So almost bollocks that one up, <laughs> like I have many a times in this game, to be fair. But, uh, you know, luck was on my side. So, <laughs> we're going to be unfortunately, or are we? Scary. Yes! Oh, you die! You go to hell and you die! Okay, that is not always going to happen. Um, but again, a sad part's going to come up. We're going to wave, and this guy going to die. Well, 
That's unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Ray. I'm sorry, Rice Crispy Marshmallow Square Head. But I will avenge your death eventually. So, what we need to do now, we're going to be chased. So, just be careful. Um, make sure again to... Now and again, we're going to need to get our bumper ready. So, our stick ready. So, we can jump up these next two bits, which are fine. Make sure to smash it in the gear cog. I got away with that one nicely. And then make sure to get it back when you're at the other side. You'll have to wait for just two seconds. Because our claw friend is going to try and um, kill us from above. Mate, just, just let us go. We're just one man, you know. Right, as soon as this yellow button appears, smash it with your stick. Jump down. Again, almost got lucky without being crushed. Do the same with the second button. Jump down. As soon as you get down, get your stick. Put it in the gear cog. You shouldn't need to with that one, actually, because the, the trap door uh, goes down quite slowly. And then just run. Run! Run! Run as fast as you can! You can't catch me! I'm the marshmallow-headed gingerbread man. And if you were a ginger man, well, you'd probably die first, because that's just... Just happens in every movie for some reason, which is quite um gingerist. It's quite racist against gingers, right? Right. Right, so we made it. Game ends. That would normally be the Rata Laika game. In fact, this is probably five minutes too long for a Rata Laika game, to be honest. But uh, we made it out of the factory anyway, so that's going to get us another nice achievement. In fact, the Gears of Chore achievement. Now, I'm not sure if everyone will get that one there. If not, I will show you another place to get that one later on anyway. Um, so probably just a glitch as the story related one the gears of chores one again Not sure if you'll get that at the same time. It doesn't matter if you do uh, we'll get that one later So what we need to do throw a javelin in the air three times and grab it back and That's all we have to do for the next achievement. <laughs> so this is what I mean the missable ones are very easy So there you go. It's a boomerang throw your spear and retrieve it three times We should now be this is the memory cube tree. So we should now have four altogether uh, hopefully you got four as well. Uh, if not, then you can call me the world's crappiest guide maker, and you can hate me, and etc. etc. Right, watch out for the falling uh, for the falling rocks as we jump over to the other side with our stick, and then we can jump up. Now, from this part, like I said, it was the first 20-25 minutes. So it was all claws and stuff, but now it seems the claws seem to chill out. So, a bit of a timing puzzle here. Just watch out for the rocks, of course. Rocks on your head equals death. Shouldn't need to explain that one. But, if I need to explain it, then rocks on head equal bad. Okay? Okay. Right, stick your stick in the yellow button in places where it's not wanted. Crush yourself this time. That's going to get us the safety hazard achievement. Uh, that's the only time that you can crush yourself is to get an achievement. If you're going to crush yourself without getting an achievement, it's probably not worth it, okay? So, <laughs> we've got the safety hazard achievement. We can jump up and continue to the right. Jump down... For some reason, he can't just um, grab onto a ledge and pull himself up like most normal characters. No, we got to do it with a magic stick. But that's fine, that's fine too. Right, so what we need to do now is just throw it at this tree and then jump down this side again to not get crushed by the boulder. Again, no achievement for us, so we're not going to get crushed. You can shove it, buddy. I, I don't know who the buddy is, the rock buddy, I suppose. Uh, throw your stick there again at the tree and at the, another one. Again, watch out for the falling boulder uh, before you can jump on through to the other side. Right, stick your stick in the right-hand side wall, jump up, try and actually do it at a point where you can actually reach it. Uh, <laughs> oh, and if you do reach it, don't be a dong and um, mess it up like I just did. So, jump up. And again, we're just going to do the same thing with the left-hand side. Now we can jump up and then do the same thing with the right-hand side. Ah, it's all it's all politics these days, huh? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you son of a... Right, now what we can see are these beetles. But the claws don't like the beetles, so they turn them into weird, creepy-ass, like, genitalia-dwarted spiders. Oh, I don't know, they've got, like, grassy pus on them or something. Uh, so, this random boulder just falls, which comes in handy for us. So we're going to push this one all the way to the right... And just leave it on this switch right here. And then we can jump up deliciously. Stick your stick in. We're going to jump up again. Get your stick back and put it into this lever switch. And then drag that down to the right. There we go. Now we can jump up. Now you can get easily crushed here. So be careful. Um, try, not to <laughs> try not to jump down as well. Um, 
But yeah, if that happens, that's fine. Uh, we can just pull the lift back down. And then we can just jump on through. Lovely. Get your stick back. Again, get onto the edge, but not too edgy. Oh, yeah, I'm on the edge. Okay, make a slide. Slide it. Slide it. Ride it. Right, these, if you press the X button, you can actually pick up these random other sticks, which actually come in handy. So you press the X button to get these other sticks, throw it at the um, yellow button, and it's actually on a timer as well. So those yellow sticks, as you can see, it counts down from like 5 to 10 seconds. Sometimes it goes slower, sometimes it goes really fast, but then it just goes back to its original starting point. So with these, we are going to be, uh, we're going to be using a lot of those. So, use your javelin stick. Now, you're supposed, you suppose you can grab this stick if you want, but um, I didn't actually bother. I just got mine back, stood on the edge, and then stuck it up in the yellow button at the top. And I did it eventually. <laughs> so, there we go. And then just make a break for it. Lovely. Right. Now, like I said, now remember to press the X button. We're going to use our javelin stick. Stick it at the bottom, press the X button to pick up the other one, and then... Grab the next one. Job done. Grab this stick up here and place it on the left-hand side. And then do the same with your javelin stick so we can make a jump and a jump and a jump, 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 and a jump, and a jump, 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 jump. Right, jump down. Stick it in the yellow button. And then what we're going to do is just wait for this to time down. Darcy blows. As soon as it gets back to this position, come in. All right, there we go. Pick it up again using the X button. Drag it to the other side and then put it in the first button. Oh, button. And that will get out this platform. Get your stick. Stick it into the second button. And that is going to get the next platform going so we can move on through to the other side. Right. Delicious beetles. Look, genuinely look like turds, to be honest, with leaves sticking out of them. Uh, but we're going to get an achievement for basically throwing a, be a spear at the beetle. Oh, it's called a spear, isn't it? Yeah, not a stick. Donk. So, throw your spear at any of the beetles. We're going to see a lot of beetles through the game, so if you don't get it now, don't worry, you can get it later on, but it's always nice to get it done um, out of the way. And I completely just realised, me calling it a javelin stick, it's called a spear. Doi! Okay, please don't think I am complete moronical, even though we all know that's potentially half true. Uh, but just keep going to the right for now. We're going to get on uh, our little... Uh, dung beetles, our little turd beetles. Then you're going to go into these little gear cogs. It's going to light up the way and then we can get through. But these, just like the spiders, are scared of light. So stick your lever in, stick it to the left. Wait until they're all here with you and then you uh, push it to the right. And that gets the turd beetles over to the other side. And again, anytime you're near any of these three sets of gear cogs, it lights up the way for us and opens up any potential traps. Very nice, very nice. Right, stick your javelin, uh, st stick your spear in the left set of cogs to break that one. Press the X button here to pick up this next one, and then throw it in the next set of gear cogs. And our beetle-headed friends will come through. Now we can get our spear back. I uh, see. I'm actually saying things right now for once. So, oh, that's slightly embarrassing. Use your spear in the yellow button, and then we can pick up one of the sticks, uh, one of the spears. Put it in the left-hand side and push the lever to the right, left, the right, left, you know, <laughs> the right, left. Um, don't put it back to the right because obviously they'll try and get crushed and we can't crush a turd. Can't crush a solid turd, which is a shame sometimes. Quickly grab the other stick, push it to the left, and then that one uh, goes through to the right-hand side and we can move on. Ever so slowly, ever so slightly. Right, here we are again then, so more puzzles. Right, um, we're going to put our spear at the bottom. We're going to grab this one from the right-hand side and put it at the top. Remember, these spears are timed, the ones you have to pick up. Grab the next one, jump up, and then just uh, chuck it in the lever. Pull the uh, switch all the way down to the right. And now we're just going to wait for just a second. Man, those turd beetles smell smellier than I thought. Right, grab the next spear, and then what we have to do is just wait again. So as you can see, it does count down, but it does give you quite a generous amount of time. When the platform goes up, we can now jump over to the other side and throw that spear at it. That's going to get rid of the left-hand side light. Grab your spear, 
you can't actually jump, uh, get it from here, so you'll have to make the running leap for it. Right, stick it in the gears at the top. And you, my friend, are about as handsome as me. A literal marshmallow head with ginger half freckles and a dick and balls haircut for some reason. Right, now we're into the next area then. We go, <laughs> I, I don't know how that happened. You think something bad's going to go down? Well, guess who's about to save the day? Nah, man, we've got the steroid-infused cat. It's literally like a cat bummed a human, or a human bummed a cat, and then the human took steroids as well, but had a cat for a head. So we're going to call him the steroid cat, uh, but he helps us out. So let's follow him, is it? Because, again, that's what you normally do. Look, if you uh, get helped out by a stranger, you normally follow them to the end of the earth. Um, but, of course, there's no police or anything in this, so you can't get arrested for stalking, which is handy. So, sadly, we can't jump up like Roid Cat right there, so we're going to have to go to the bottom. Yeah, go through the bottom. It's a bit browner and a bit smellier this way, but, you know, <laughs> but. But it's what we do. It's what you got to do. Right, push this light over to the um, weird grassy spider. Pop him down, and then we can just jump over to the right. Some weird, crazy-ass things happening right here. Right, stick your spear into the, not into the actual wire, but into the electrical socket port thing right there. That gets the platform back up, and that gets us going again. Uh, obviously, always make sure, every time you're at the other side, just make sure to grab your spear. Otherwise, it's, well, life's going to be a bit more difficult. You can see a memory cube just above us there. That's what we're going for next, so stick it into the electric socket to light that one up. Grab the next spear out of there, and then stand on the switch. Jump over to the left-hand side, and this is going to get us the fifth out of 16 memory cubes. We're also going to be getting the sixth memory, memory cube as well, which will be below, a lot below where we are. So we're going to jump down. There we go. So we're going to jump down. We're going to grab this, and then we are going to stick it into the yellow button. I don't actually think that makes a whole heap of difference, to be honest. Um... Don't know what I'm actually... Grab your spear anyway. That's going to get the trap down, which again is fine. We don't need to worry about that because we've gotten the memory cube from above. Uh, all we're doing is just we're going to stick our spear... Not there. We're going to stick it in the lever. We're going to push this lever to the left. To the right. Close enough. And then we can just jump down. And we're going to jump all the way down. And on the left-hand side is going to be our sixth memory cube. My left and right... I, I tell you what, I am completely... Dongery today. dong delicious, Without delicious. But anyway, that's that bit done. Now we can just keep heading all the way to the right. So again, you should have got the fifth and sixth memory cube right there. Spiderling chases us right here. It always gets caught out by the light, so don't worry about that. But the light will eventually flicker off, so just keep on running. <laughs> I know you're pretty useless and you don't have those big uh, <laughs> roid cat. Ah, oh, thank you, Mr. Roid Cat. You don't have those roid cat... Um, Reflexes, but he does turn him into the turd beetle, so he's not all bad. He's all good Right, what you need to do from here stick your lever in and then push it to the left to go up And then what you need to do stand around here, and then one of the beetles is going to go in there great Make sure to grab the, the next beetle and put it up So we're going to go to the top floor and then push him into that one as well So both of these wires should now be lit just make sure that both of the wires are lit because uh, if you go to the next part, and there's no trap door open. You haven't done that properly. So make sure they're both lit before we can go down and head to the left. Now we're going to get our spear back and stick it in this boy. A lot of sticking. A lot of sticking stuff into other stuff. That must hurt. Jump to the right anyway as we get to the top. And that's going to be memory cube number 7 out of 16. So you should now be on 7 out of 16. With that one, we could just jump back down. Delishimo. And of course, if we didn't have the two beetles doing it, their thing, we can't get through to this area. So, that's all good. Right, uh, Royd, Royd Cat Tom and Jerry is just going <laughs> to... Yeah, we'll just call him Tom. Ah, Tom Cat, yeah, that's very funny. Right, stick it in the bottom. 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Sick it in the bottom. Ah, some jokes write themselves, don't they? Right, that should be the next achievement anyway. Big problems, small solutions. Another story-related one. You can tell he's a big guy. Right, smash the light out. And, um... Royd Tom... <laughs> Royd Cat is going to turn him into another turd beetle. Stand by here. Just stand by this, um... Couple of gear cogs. Beetle's going to sort us out. And we can get on through to the other side. See, it's all a flying... Type of... Play. Right, anyway. Stick your lever in. Put it to the left, let's go up. And we're just going to have a little tiny cutscene. Uh, Royd Cat's going to get off, we're going to stay our lever back in and go back to the top. Go to the left, and our little turd beetle is going to open the way for us. Royd Cat's going to smash little turd spider, and turn him into the dung beetle. The old pooping beetle. Mmm, delicious. Right, with our dung beetle, we're going to put him to the right hand side to open up that uh, particular, or light up that wire. Go down. Our next dung beetle is going to sort us out. Uh, or he's going to join us. We need to get him down and into this one. And that should light up the second wire. Job done. Now we can go back down. And that is how the cookie crumbles. And you've lit your way. And life doesn't seem that bad after all. Especially when you get Ozzy achievements. Right, a little bit more puzzling. Stick your lever in, stick your gear cog to the first one. Wait until that's up at the very top, until Royd Cat uh, nips in. Then you can pop it into the second gear cog. Royd Cat knobs his way in, and then immediately run to the right and grab your spear on the way out as well. Right, so we're going to run. He's going to run at the top, we're going to run at the bottom. Again, we're going through a lot of bottoms. What are we, a proctologist or something? <laughs> anyway, stick your spear in. Or, you know, just take it out and then die. That's always a possibility. Let's try not to do that, though. Stick your lever in and make sure and uh, push it to the right so that the gear cog is interacting with the one at the bottom there. So the platform comes down. And then as soon as that's done, you can just run to the right. And as soon as you're on the other side, grab the spear. And then stick it in the first one on the left-hand side. Uh, the to uh, Sorry, the right one, the second one. And push that one to the left so that one goes up. So the right hand side one goes up. That again enables the platform to go down so we can jump up. And then grab your spear so we can go up. And this basically enables us to grab the next spear up here. So stick this one in the left hand side one. Push that to the right, left, right, left, left. Uh, basically we just need to grab, um, put both of them in. Put both of them in, put them to the right, to the left. Jesus, sorry. Put them both to the left. Jesus Christ, I'm very sorry. And then as soon as they're all touching and they all get excited, we and they all lube themselves up somehow, we are good to go to the right. Right, more gear cock puzzles and the memory cube up there as well. So that should be your eighth one at the top. Stick it in, push the gear cog all the way to the right hand side one so the platform closest to us comes down. And then we can just jump back up, grab your spear on the way as well. And then uh, stick your spear up to the tree top there so it gets this boulder down for us. Right, now we're going to push this one. Again, it's the X and left stick button. Um, X and left stick button, of course. So drag that one to the left just as, as so you're both on the platform. Stick your spear on the left hand side, jump up, and that should get you 8 out of 16 memory cubes plus the achievement for collecting 8 out of 16 memory cubes. So with that, we can just jump down. <laughs> and we can stick it in the lever. And we can push ourselves all the way up. And then all the way up. And then we're good to go. Grab your spear. Let's go. Okay. This looks complicated, but it's not bad. So into the second uh, stick. Or into... Go, chuck your lever in to the second one. And push the platform down. That'll automatically stop there. Grab the next spear. And then put it into the one to the left of where we just grabbed it. And then push that one to the right. Yep, yeah, to the right, and then just leave that, and then grab the next one from the right hand side, grab it onto the, uh, put a sticky lever into the one in the left, and then that should be all three done, and then our dung beetle and steroid cat can nip on through to the other side, and get us going again. What a game, what an enjoyable game so far, everyone enjoying it? Good, goddamn good. Right, stick your spear in, jump yourself up. 
man, I'd love to be able to jump like that guy. And jump on through to the other side. How many times have I said into the bottom and through to the other side in this uh, playthrough so far? Quite a few, I'd imagine. And again, a few more spiders. Which, I mean, if, you're, if you are an arachnophobe, then... Oh, oh, well, this game sucks for you. Pretty much, I'd assume. So then, this is the point. If you didn't unlock the Gears of Chore, which is very hilariously named, achievement earlier on, this is the point that we are going to get it. Um, so, well, let's help the broski out, shall we? Because, uh, yeah, this, this little big giant machine thing's looking a bit pissed off right now, so let's help it out. And again, these puzzles look like they're going to be really complicated, which they probably are if you're doing them without a guide. But since you're here, I assume you like the look at this one. So, automatically, steroid, uh, our roided, roid headed, tiny headed friend is going to pop us down. And then what we are going to do is push, uh, put our spear into the same lever that we just come on so we can raise the platform up. And we're going to raise it to the third one, where the dung beetle is, turd beetle is right there. Because doing this makes no difference because we don't have a beetle with us. Die. So, put it up to the third row. Eventually, <laughs> and then just uh, grab him with you. Go, uh, go down one, and then we're going to put him inside these couple of gears right here. That's going to light up the way, and that's fine for us because we need to do this. We need the fourth one. There is a spider white white where right cat is. So put your spear back in. Go in all the way up this time, and then we're going to head to the right again. You think you know. I mean, he is only he is a little midget, isn't he? He's only a, he's a little midget, so he's not going to exactly run fast. Which is a damn shame. Right, anyway, stick the spear in. Go down. Spider actually now just jumps down, as we can see right there. So just push the light all the way to the right. Push the light to the right, because we don't give a shite. Na, na, na. Na, na, na. And there we go. Now we've got our fourth beetle, thanks to um, our roid cat-headed friend right there. And he brings the platform back down. <laughs> That's nice. Now, what I think we could have just done was grab the light back, jumped over the light, and just gone through. Um, but for some reason, I decided to go all the way back up, because um, I don't know. I don't know. So, I mean, let me know. If you can jump over the light and um, just, just get through to the other side, I'm... Don't actually know if you can. Let me know anyway if you could do that or not. Um, but as it turns out, the platform's back at the top, so probably, <laughs> so probably not. So we're going all the way down this time. There we go. There's our little dung beetle friend. Now we're going to go to the third one. And so basically what we're going to do... Um, I actually end up grabbing this beetle back to go down to the fourth one. For whatever particular reason... Um, because I think all, all, you know, I think all I have to do is go up and push the second, the, the the dung beetle on the second platform to go up. But anyway, I end up grabbing both of these dung beetles, going back to the third platform, sticking the one of them in, right, and then go into the second one. Come in, douchebag, and then we're gonna chuck one of these in, and then we're just gonna go to the top. Chuck one of these in, and again, this is where the Gears of Chore achievement 
should unlock it, again if you didn't unlock it earlier doing it this way should unlock it for you right now so there we go i my conscience is clear everyone's happy i'm extremely hoping so are you happy ah we're all freaking happy Right, go over to the left-hand side platform. Basically, what that does is actually get us another memory cube. So, stick your lever in, go down ever so slightly to this part, and then um, we are going to use our lever on the uh, electrical sort of socket porty socket-y port right there. <laughs> no, we need to do that again. So, apologies, this bit was uh, slightly confusing. So, <laughs> what we need to grab is the other spear from the right and stick that one in then what we can do is actually go back up look okay, at apologies about um some of the confusion on this particular puzzle uh, right there then we can put our spear at the top and then that is how we get rid of that puzzle that is done and again just apologies about some of the uh, some of those parts were a bit weird and a bit slightly confusing so apologies for balls in that one up slightly you love me still Okay. We got saved it by our friend when I actually thought he'd bug it off. So, we are... Well, look at us. Right as rain, we're sleeping on wood for some reason. Why do animals sleep on wood and stuff? Is that not comfy for them? Right, so when we wake up, we're going to go to the left-hand side. Jump up, jump up. Now there's going to be the ninth memory cube, eventually. Eventually, look at us. Wow, well, look at us. Super Q here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, there it is. So, there's the ninth memory cube. Of course, you should have got the story related achievement as well for helping the big mama. Yo, big mama, we helped you well. Where's my payment, bitch? I, I, was that a thing? Is that a thing? Did, did normal big mamas talk like that? I, I, I don't know. I've never been, nor will I ever experience being a big mama. Right, so pop your spear in your lever right next to where you were taking a noop. A cheeky snap nap, and then go to the right hand side. And then stick your spear in here as well. We're going to put this painting together. Ah, delicious. That is fantastic. Fantastic then. Right, grab your spear, and we can now mosey on our way. Ah, oh, cheers, pal. Cheers for sorting me out. I much appreciate it. 
but hey, listen, I, I haven't got no money to pay you, and I don't pay you in love or anything like that. I just, I've, I've got a cold heart. I don't like anyone since all my marshmallow-headed friends got squashed to death by a bunch of clowns. Oh, that's cute then. He do, he doesn't want anything. Right, that's cute. That's cute. So, now we can be on our merry way uh, all the way to the right. Ah, goddamn sons of bitches, man. We just got all the turd beetles back and they turned them into turd spiders. Well, that sucks ass. So, since it does suck ass, we are going to have to get them all back again. Jeez. Oh, it's like a never-ending, hilarious love fest. Right, smash the tree with your spear. And there is, I think there is going to be another one right there, so make sure to do that. Stick your spear in, jump up. And we're going to make a break for it now. We're going to get a spider chasing us. So, let's do this. Did I say a spider chasing us? Well, apparently I lied. It's not this bit. Uh, we're going to stick it in. In fact, now this is the bit. There we go. So I, I was I, Sorry, I got a little bit ahead of myself. Right, what you have to do is be quite... You just have to be good in terms of sticking your spear into the wall to jump up. So, run all the way to the right. Again, should be good for this bit, since our big mama friend just helped us up. Oh, in fact, again, I got a bit, uh, I got a bit far ahead of myself, so we need to be chased by spiders later. Right, with these bits, what you have to do every time you see this pole, press the X button, and as soon as you see our little marshmallow friend San do a little like animation type thing, that means that we've got a chain connected to our uh, spear. So that animation right there, as soon as you've done that, press the right bumper, stick it on some kind of platform, some kind of edge, and then jump over. And now Big Mama's gonna help us out, child! Oh, Big Mama! Yeah, help us out! So for this bit, get your javelin ready, stick it up the tree above, and then that just helps us go on the way, so Big Mama! can keep us going. So when we get to this bit, I would highly advise just using a, uh, using your spear to um, just go onto the platform there, because if you die, you've just got to do that beginning bit again with the chain, etc. So, just be aware of that. If not, you can just do what I do, jump over to the other side, lovely. Make sure you chain yourself up. Go over to the next platform on the left-hand side. You have to do it sort of, um, eh, sort of quite far-ish, I think. Just enough to get over. Do the same with this one. We're going for the next memory cube. So, jump the chain over. Eh, not the best, but hey, we made it. Together, we made it. With our backs up against the wow. Right, again, press the X button anytime you're near one of these poles. Get the chain going. And the Fleetwood Mac will appear in you. There we go. That's the next memory cube. 
done, dusted, let's go. Again, try not to die, that always comes in handy. Dying is just such a minor inconvenience, isn't it? Uh, but again, just chain yourself all the way over to the other side for the time being. And get your spear, whack it onto the tree branch above, and that lights the way, or it gets at least one out of the two buttons done. So, what we're going to do is head over to the switch right here. Okay, well, okay, this is pretty cute. Jump off, and then just push this boulder down, and... Kablamo! Well, excuse me again, Marge. Kablamo! And that helps Big Mauma get the way, so... Big Mauma is going to start going, and we're going to start going with her. So, uh, ignore the platform, press the X button, chain yourself over. Again, you can't actually get on Big Mauma just yet. You just ha you'll ha we'll have to keep going quickly. Um, but there is a point where we're going to have to go even quicklier. And yes, that is a word. Just in case you were wondering, quicklier is definitely a word. Right, so, get your spear out. Get your spear again. What we're going to do is actually, we're going to need to use the spear on this platform edge. Not like that, not like that, douchebag. There we go. Right, so we can jump up to the other side and jump up. Now, as you can see, there are three red dots, three red buttons. So we need to push, uh, we need to get three buttons going, but there is another memory cube in this area. So coming over to the left and right, getting rose up on this platform, or raised up, or r raised up. See, I told you my English is as good as diarrhea so far today. Uh, on the tree branch on the right, uh, we're going to get a boulder to fall down. So push that to the left. Not all the way, just enough so we can jump up onto the next platform. Just about. Hit the next yellow button. In fact, no, don't hit the next yellow button. Sorry, we'll come back to that just a bit later. We're going to grab the chain. We're going to go over to the next um, area on the left. And now we can get our spear, chuck it up the top, and then plop it down. Job done. That's the first out of three. Buttons done. <coughs> I meant first out of three buttons down because a man is deaf. Right, jump back on the boulder. And then jump up to the uh, platform again on the left. In fact, no, what we're doing is hitting the yellow button this time. And we're going to go to the right. So ap apologies about that again, guys and gals. My direction sucks so far. Apologies. Right, uh, on, up to the platform, onto the left. Now we're going to interact with this chain again, press the X button after we get our spear back, chug it through to the other side on the left, and that is as good as any. What a throw, man. I'm into the next Olympics now. Right. So, there's the first bit, and that's the second one uh, out of three done. Okay, are you going to try and make a jump for it, or are we just going to press the X button and just jump down? I think it's a very good idea. Don't make a jump for it, because there was a little bit of an edit, because I was donged, I was donged up, and um, yeah, I completely messed that up. So, from here, grab the chain again, stick it over to the platform on the right. And now we can see we've got another spear to pick up, but we're not going to pick that one up just yet. We're going to move this boulder to the left. Ever so slightly, this plate, this will do just fine. Stick the X button on, jump up. Lovely, and then we can use our spear there to just jump up deliciously. Now you can see our thing is below us, but we're just getting the next memory cube, so make sure to go ahead and pick that one up. That should now be 11, I believe. 10 or 11? Out of 16. Yes. Uh, but, again, I show everything, so it's all good. Now we can just push this um, boulder back to the right. And then what we're going to do is just, we're going to use the chain again. We're going to do it as far to the right and high up as we can. Because then what we need to do is grab the next spear from the left. And obviously stand on the chain and then stick it up the tree branch above. And of course if you didn't have the chain, you wouldn't be able to reach far enough, which is why we're doing that. And then when that's done, well, Big Mau Mau is on her way. And then all we've got to do is just jump all the way back down and to the left. And then we can start heading to the right.
Right, so for this next area then, very easy puzzle, we just need to get all four gear cogs touching the middle one, so put your stick in, your spear in the one on the, the right, and then two near left. Grab the spear from the left, and put it into the left um, hole, yeah. and then move it to the right, or, and move it to the left, to the right, to the left now y'all, and then just do the same, onto the right one, move it to the right, and then go to the next one, move that one to the right as well. And that gets all four going to the left, to the left, to the light. Take it back now, y'all. Right, this is a tiny bit of a timed one again. Very generous, but it's very easy. So we just need to get the tree branch on the left and the right to hit both buttons so we can move up. And then when that's done, we're going to go quickly, uh, <laughs> quicklier up. Again, there's going to be another tree branch. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. On the right hand side so make sure uh, you'll have to wait potentially just a few more seconds and there we go that's going to get the next bit going for us and there's a tree branch immediately on the left so quickly as you can in fact it's probably it didn't even have to do it as quickly as you can to be honest because it takes a while anyway uh, so as soon as you're able to smash it out that gets the next part for us open and for this area we are going to be going to the right but we have to wait for just a second. We've got this angry little douchebag claw. Ah, come on, mate. Have you not had your cereal this morning? Right, as soon as you can, open up the tree branch on the left-hand side. And that basically gets us to start going. Eventually, there we go. Good job, big mama. Keep on going, girl. Ah, Right, so let's jump onto the platform, use your spear, jump over into the platform, and we're going to go up, 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 up and away. Right, this puzzle then, easy again, go to the third out of the five levers, so basically the very middle one, stick a lever in and push that one to the um, l -l 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 right, <laughs> right. Okay, grab your spear, go to the first one, it's the very left hand side one, pop your spear in. And move that one to the left. Then grab your spear. And then we're going to go all the way to the very right hand side. Which is the fifth one. There it is. The very right hand side. Stick your lever in. And then push that one to the right. And that gets rid of all lights. And that gets us our big mama. Ah! So, after that enjoyable and very fun ride, once we slide down, we're going to go for another memory cube. So, jump down, slide down. Before going to the right, push this boulder to the left. Stick them bows on that chain. And then fly yourself over to the left. Probably not as moronic as I just did it right there, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll try again. So, try again. Press the X button. Come on, you worm. There we go. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll try that one that time. So, that's the next memory cube. All done. All, all fun on the bun. It's all fun on the bun. Right. We need to now push the boulder all the way back to the right-hand side. So, go ahead and do that. Okay, maybe not all the way to the left-hand side. Because uh, we actually need the chain. So, yeah. Again, press just press the X button and left stick so we can go back up. You know, close enough. So that should potentially... Oh, man, I'm so very sorry. These bits are sucked. Just complete ass balls at. So as high as you can, and then you should be good to go. Right, and we'll just keep sprinting to the right. Oh, no, now we've got the claws back. We haven't seen these claws for a while. But these should be fine. All we have to do then, as soon as he goes to the right... Oh, in fact, no, you should be good. So that should... Uh, you should have enough to smash him out. Now, just use the chain. You'll have to do it quickly before he turns back on. And then jump down and go through to the right-hand side, I think. They end up turning back on. Well, there we go. 
Right, so with this one, what we need to do then is just press X and then as soon... As soon as I get your chain going, and then as soon as he goes to the right and stops, we need to make an immediate sprint for it, and then just hide at the right-hand side. And then what we're going to do, we're just going to wait for him. Just going to wait for him. Press the X button, and then we're just going to climb back up. <laughs> well, as soon as he uh, hops off. There you go. So should be good to go now. Oosh, mate, we done it. Right, so grab your spear. <laughs> Eventually, and then stick it. On the tree branch at the top. There is a tree branch directly above you. So we'll try <laughs> so again we'll try not to do what I'm doing, which is silly little things. Again, if you can't reach, just make a jump for it and then throw and it should be good. So that gets rid of the button, that gets rid of the claw as well. It's a very angry claw, Jesus Magonies. Right, and then just follow where Roid Infused Catman went. Killed my steroid cat. God damn son of a cat. Anyway, this for me was probably the worst part of the game. I didn't particularly enjoy. It's basically just a steam part puzzle section. Um, and I didn't particularly enjoy it. Um, in all fairness, I don't know why. I just didn't really fancy it. So, anyway, grab the chain, pop it up. And again, it's just a time section. So, we'll just wait until the first one on the left hand side stops. And then the second one stops, and then the third, and then the fourth, and that bit's all right, all righty, righty, roo. So, get your lever out, stick it in, stick it in the hole, a, a dry, and then push it to the left. Land is going to turn the steam off for this bit, and then we can move on through. Now we're going to pop the lever back into this one, uh, push this one to the right, and then what that's going to do is actually push a um, pipe platform up for us. Which is nice, just nice. Nice, nice. So, let's go to the right then. Since we're on our own again. As you can see, there is a memory cube on the top. So, uh, push the lever in. And then, what we need to do... <laughs> we need to push it to the right and then stand on this pipe. And then, as soon as we grab our spear back, the steam will stop. And the memory cube is ours. So, sometimes in, in certain things, like the pipe rising up and stuff, there is a certain delay in things. So... Sometimes you have to wait like one second, five seconds, ten seconds. So yeah, just to be, just to let you know, and to be a little bit wary of that one. Right. So jump on and then put your spear into lever, into lever mode, and then try not to grab it with you because we don't actually need it yet. Uh, push that one to the right, and then what that's going to do is you can see the sort of fans at the top there. It's going to sort the platforms out for us so we can jump through to the other side. Grab the spear, put it back in your lever. In fact, you don't actually need to this time. We're just going to sprint on through lovingly to the right, which is nice, just nice. Right, so wait until both of these bits of steam are doing. Now, it may seem obvious, but it's always not obvious, these little puzzles. But as soon as the two of them stop, run and go into this middle lever. Put your spear in and push it to the right. And then what that's going to do is get another pipe up for us. Eventually, there we go. And then grab the next spear. Wait until, obviously, the uh, steam uh, pitches you. Don't go for it just yet. I always end up waiting. Just just always end up waiting until both of the steams have stopped. And then as soon as they do, as soon as they do, there we go. Stick your spear in. Push it to the left. And then you should be good to go. Jump through to the other side. Ha, oh, man. Boys, you got this. I was actually quite lucky with it. I, I thought all the three pipes were broken. As it turns out, I just got lucky. Right, this bit. Big pain in the ass for me, and I will tell you why as soon as you get to the top. So, for this lever, we're going to push it to the right, and then we're going to go down um, to the bottom. So, immediately jump down, grab your spear, 
and then push this one in and then push that to the right immediately jump onto this platform and then we can grab the next spear and then we can jump back onto the second platform the original one stick that boy in and push that one to the right and then immediately go to the left so we can start raising up I like a fill of mountains you raise me up right to grab your spear so right bumper your way through life And what's up, Doc? Just waiting for a bus, are we, pal? Why, why, why did I not edit, edit this one out? Oh, that's right. We're actually just waiting for the um, <laughs> spear to appear. That's right. Okay, so we, that's why I didn't edit it out, because we're waiting for the spear to appear. Push it into the one that we're on. Push that one to the right, and then again, immediately go to the left. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, sometimes you can get the spear back quick. Other times you can't. Um, grab this spear... Put this one in and turn it to the right and then immediately jump back onto the platform on the left because when we go up there's another memory cube. Now this bit was a bit of a bitch for me because if you do it once and then you jump back down, for whatever reason it doesn't work again so you end up having to restart the section for whatever reason. So a bit of a pain in the ass but there we go. Right, so now what we can do is grab our spear again or we can just wait for this spear to come down and then we can jump down. Right, um... Press on that spear again so the three lights are lit back up. Go ahead and chain yourself then to the other side. You got a shade. Go ahead. If you go to the left slightly more of the spear right here, press the X button again and that's how you pick it up. Jump back over to the other side. Put, your, put this spear into the right and then push it to the right again. And then what that's going to do is pop up a little uh, platform for us. Job done. Chain yourself up, drag it over to the platform on the right, or the pipe, whatever, and that is how you do that particular section. That one actually took me a while to figure out, which annoyed the crap out of me, because it's so simple when you look at it now, but it just wasn't working for me. Anyway, we're going to jump up, we've got a few more chlory sections to do, and so pop your lever in, obviously wait here until he starts looking to the right, as soon as he starts looking to the left... Run, 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 Rupert. Oh, yeah. And then wait around here so we don't get caught. And then as soon as he starts looking to the right, just make a break for it again. Run, run, as fast as you can. You cannot cut me. I'm the fat chocolate man. You're not the fat chocolate man. He comes from Drury Lane. And he's Jamaican for some reason. Right. We're done with that bit, so we're all good. Grab your spear. And wait. No. More clothes! No, that's fine. We're going to stick a spear in the lever. We're going to steam him to death, basically. I thought you said we were going to steam clam him. Oh, no. I said steamed hams. That's what I actually call hamburgers and steaming claws. Oh, really? So, we've steamed ham him up. Go to the next one, and we're going to drag this lever down to the right. Again, always seems weird, but it's for a specific reason. So keep going, keep going until you see the pipe at the very bottom looks exactly like that. And you've got the pipe blowing to the right, so the right hand side fan comes up. And we've got the next pipe that'll come up and save the day so we don't turn into steamed clams or steamed hams from Albany or from upstate New York. Um, right, so with this bit then. Now these are the next sort of puzzles that we're going to be... Uh, doing and interacting with. There is a memory cube in this area, so be very, very mindful of that one. So into the right-hand side um, lever, make do it so it's at a sort of T-shape, the top one. The one to the left of that, do it, um, turn it to the right so that it's sort of at a backwards L, and then the very left-hand side lever, turn it to the right so that it's steaming and you're at steamboat, you're at, well, that's exactly where you're at. Uh, steamboat punk progression, but what we're needing to do is actually get the pipe down So wait until it's here go over to the pipe Again being a bit um, dongleberry ish right here <laughs> So push push the lever to the left because when we grab the spear it'll automatically fix into place so Yeah, that's how we do that. So as soon as you do that don't go all the way to the top go to this platform first this pipe platform, because down at the bottom here will be your next memory cube. So again, very, very easily missed that one. Uh, so just jump down and then grab the lever again. Or grab your spear, sorry. Turn it into Am's lever. 
push that one to the right. And again, I completely mong... <laughs> again, I'm very, very sorry. So some of these puzzles I've made are not fantastic. Um, <laughs> but we need to push this one to the right again to make sure that it's at the T section again. So exactly like it is now. So the top one's a T. The, the bottom one is a bottom L and the next one is a straight line. As soon as we do that, that one's done. But remember to grab the memory cube from here before we move on. Uh, now we can just jump up. Apart from me, I was trying to jump down for whatever reason. Um, man, I was losing losing my I was losing my nut bags at this point, <laughs> which is fan just fan. Right, another small puzzle. We're gonna steam tam up this mofo right here. So, right lever, push it to the right, so you've got a sort of backwards upside down L. Grab your spear and go to the middle one where we are now, and we're gonna push this one to the right so that the one above us is at a T shape again. And then over to the left lever, put your spear in, drag it to the right so that the steam hand works. And then there it goes. Eventually it'll start going up and it'll all start clicking into place. And Super <laughs> Super Nintendo Charmers will, well, he'll be happy enough with that. Right, so moving on. Moving to the right. Don't worry about this um, brown ass gassy ass. You're not going to die from this bit. But there is another steamed claw right here, so wait by this painting or this picture or whatever till he starts going to the right. Not too far, because of course he does swing his ass back to the left. As soon as he goes to the very right, you should be golden as nuggets to nip through. Another complicated, but it's not that complicated, thanks to me, even though I have balls this up a few times. Anyway, chain yourself over to the left-hand side, right. What we need to do now is basically help this old guy, apparently he's called, on the right. So we need to be doing a bit of steamboat clamming hamming. So put your lever in, your spear in the first lever, and then push it to the right until the left-hand side T is at the, the sort of right-hand side there. And then turn it around again. So that we blow in the fan and again and that should be that right go to the second one and then push it to the right to the left so that we have the um, the sort of three T's above us if you want to look at that so make sure the three T's are above us go back to the left lever and then we're gonna push this one to the right and we're gonna do it so the T on the left hand side is at the sort of left hand side as it is now blowing the two fans over to the next one again and push that uh, to the left. We're going to push this one to the left until what you can see above us is the straight pipe with the fan next to it. So go back and push the T on the left hand side so that it, again it's blowing the fan up. That's sort of on the left hand T. Uh, left hand side, sorry. Then on the, uh, the right lever, push it to the left again and get it so the T is above us with fans blowing either side. So then we can go back to the left lever. And then we're going to push this one to the right until the fan is blowing. And we should get this automatic cutscene. So I hope I paced that well enough. And I hope I explained that well enough as well. Um, that was just a sort of um, sort of point for me where I was looking at the top to see exactly where I was. And at the point I was at. And at the point of the left hand side. So, um, so this guy's magic trick is he puts a golden cube in stuff so it works. Why couldn't you just give us that from the beginning, pal? Would have made a lot more sense, but it would made would have made the game shorter. So, go to the left. We've got a memory cube at the bottom here. So again, press the XO button, slam yourself up, and grab the next memory cube of life. Oh, in fact, that would have been the last memory cube. So that is the last memory cube. I thought there was more. More sorry. Oh man, me and this guide, this guide stuff is not good. So that was the final memory cube. So finally, we don't have to worry about that anymore, which is fantastic. And all we're doing, basically, we've got another achievement called Pipe Dreams. This is again story related. 
I mean, for an old guy, he looks in a lot better shape than I do, and I'm supposed to be a young guy, even though I feel like an old guy. That's kids for you. They break your back, they break your arms, and they break your mind as well. I bet you wouldn't change it for the world. <laughs> anyway, this bit, there's nothing that we have to do specifically at this bit now. Um, you can try and check your javelin iron. Hey, have that up your butt! Hey, unlucky pal! <laughs> no, we're just going to follow him along for now before we face off with the final claw. My right-headed cat friend, I'm so alive. Ah, uh, that's a nice kitch. That's a nice kitch. So, as you can see, I just had a little check, see how many achievements we've got left. We should ha only have three, and that's for beating the game, um, killing the claw, and for um, 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 completing every achievement as well. So, yeah, job done. Um, wait, yep, deck. Right, so we are going to be fighting with the final claw. We've got about ten minutes-ish left. And here we go then, so... This is not too difficult at all. So basically, the old guy on the right is automatically going to um, put the switch on the left and switch on the right. So what we have to do is grab our lever out, grab our spear out, and put it over to the next one. So, so there you go. Old guy puts it over to the left. So go to the left lever, stick it in, and then immediately push it to the right so that it blocks the light out for us. So I got a bit lucky with that one. You'll have to wait until his light goes off before pressing the button. So wait until his light goes off. Before pressing the button. Obviously, I've done it a bit too quickly, as you can see. So, as soon as you go, have to go to the left one. Just focus on you. Don't focus on the boss. Focus on you. Uh, so, just keep um, pushing his way. And then, as soon as, again, as soon as the light goes off, spikes are automatically going to come out. As soon as the light goes off, then you can... Um, again, again, I was a bit too quick with that one. Again, you can press right on the lever. Um, and that will that is actually how he gets hurt. So, again, just keep on going to the right. He's going to go red and stop. So this time I actually figure it out and stop being a dong. Right, now, press right as soon as his light stops and that hurts the boy. And for some reason, now what I don't get is Tom and Jerry right there can't just spear him three times and then he dies. No, we got to do this weird thing. So back to the left there. Again, it's nice. It, it, it's a very nice easy boss, this one. Wait until he stops and then put your lever in and soon as his light goes out, Push it to the right, spikes up, bam, girl. Bam, girl! Oh, 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. And for the final time, then, we only, we only have to hit this boy three times. So, just keep... Keep on moving. And there we go again. As soon as his light goes off, put your lever in. And then stick the spikes so far up his claws that he ain't going to feel what what. And that's how we get... That's how we beat the claw and get the clawless victory achievement. So now we're just going to finish the rest of the game. Which we are... What are we? What are we? Not even 10 minutes away now. We're about 7 minutes away. So you, a couple more platforming sections left to do. And that is about all she wrote. Because you'd like to think that was the end of the game. But we've now got one more bit which involves portals. Which, I mean, they could have put that anywhere in the game. But they decided to put it right at the very end. Okay, so, uh, get your spear, and then put it sort of in the middle, sort of where I am, at the bottom, sort of in the middle-ish. Um, I mean, even if it's at the right-hand side, you should have enough of a leap there to jump over to the other side. If not, then, obviously, just try and get the uh, try and get in the right-hand side. Stand on the switch, wait until there's a gap in the middle. So, there should be a gap now. Wait until the top one has another gap. Get your spear ready, and then, as soon as there's a gap, now, smash it in. Job done, that opens the door for us. Oh man, we're flying. We're flying with our wings. Hello, my name is Westlife. Somehow I got rich from uh, just copying other people's songs. <laughs> Fantastic. Right, spam your spear through, and that should hopefully, first time, hit the yellow button. Man, San, we are cool as a hair brand. Jump to the right. Jump to the right, right, jump into the right, right, where, 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 where. A goddamn Peppa Pig. Sorry, too much Peppa Pig I've been watching lately. Right, jump to the right. Well, we're going to have to do like a little timed-ish section now. So stick the lever in, drag it to the left. We're going to get our roid cat through. Let's say a timed section. Basically, we have to move as the platform moves as well. That's what I meant by that. Um, drag it to the right, of course, so roid cat can... In fact, no, why didn't you just walk there, you lazy bastard? Ugh, apparently, well, uh, anyway, we, we're too good. We're too good to this guy, even though we did almost die, so I'll give him that. Right, yellow button, go through to the other side. We are literally minutes away from the end now, minutes away. Uh, put the spear through the first one. What we need to do is try and hit it at an angle so perfect that it hits the gear cogs on the right-hand side. Doesn't matter about the angle, it just we just need to turn the light off. Grab the next spear, put it at sort of the top of the portal. That is how um, I ended up doing that. So put the spear at the top of the portal. Both of those will fly through. And that's what gets us the way. That is what gets us the way, man. So again, just put your spear, your spear at the bottom, the next spear at the top, so we can jump up through. Boingy boing, bingy bing. Right now, I believe this is the sort of um, runny, chasey, platformy section. Yes, it is. So, jump down, jump down, jump down. There we go. Thanks, mate. Could have done that way earlier until I got there, but <laughs> why not just wait? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thick. Right, now it's going to start going. So don't rush automatically. Just wait until we get to the other side. Okay, there's that bit done. There is more to this, by the way, as you can see. So quickly smash the spear up, jump up and jump down. On to the next one. Again, don't go rushing it because, as you can see, there's a big gap on the right-hand side. So stay as left, far left as you can. Quickly put your spear on here and then jump up. Again, wait for a second. Jump down, grab your spear, put it on the right wall and jump up. Again, don't rush. And then, again, put your spear down. And that actually blows. And again, make sure to grab your spear. Put it on the right-hand side wall again. Almost messed that one up. But, I mean, realistically, you should have plenty of time. And again, checkpoints are good anyway. So, well, there she goes. So, that's really pretty much all she wrote now. We are literally a minute, a minute and a half away now from ending this. Which is just... Let me see more, man. In fact, I think it is just the cutscene, no? In fact, no, it's not. We've still got one more thing to do, and that's to get past the claws. So, wait. Don't go too far to the right, of course. Just wait until he starts going. He's going to start jangling it back to the left. As you can just see, almost knob that one up myself. So, so, as soon as he starts looking to the right, now we can go through. They just decide to throw literally one more pointless claw at us, which is fine. Because, up your guts, we made it anyway. Jump through the portal, 
and this is now the end of the game. So just enjoy the end cutscene, enjoy your life, and just enjoy yet another thousand. And there we go then, so now we should, uh, both achievements should unlock, that is for out of line, completing the game and completing all achievements, so there we go, job done. So that's it then guys and gals, so I hope you enjoyed the game, I really hope you enjoyed the guide as well and that it helped. If it did help of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Uh, don't forget to check me out on my socials, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook and Patreon and again, huge shout out as always to everyone who continues to support the channel on Patreon, just... You guys, I just want to kiss you all, you know, as long as you're not COVID, paranoid and that. Uh, but again, thanks thanks so much to everyone who continues to interact with me on the daily as well. You guys and gals are all legends, and I'll see you in the next one. Buh, 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 big love.